I used to have this thought, which I really wanted to convey to people that exactly how you're feeling, what you're going through right now, it it's what you need to go through. So you seem to have a similar personality style to me that you can't just manage like 50% every day, four hours of bad habits consistently every day. You're like, you're the kind of guy who will do all of it for one day, for multiple days, and you'll have a bad day, something like that, right? Quite extreme levels, right? Yeah. And it, there was this like, like this concept that was building up in my mind that like, let's say percentages wise, right now your good days are 65%, the bad days are like 35 if you stay on self-improvement as long as you don't quit, as long as you don't get brainwashed with like bad beliefs or anything that it's okay to play video games, the good days will then be 75%. The bad days will be 25 Then if you wait one year and you still stay on the, the path, don't quit, then the good days will be 95% and the bad days will be like five and maybe longer than 99 mm. than one. You need to be okay. You need to accept the fact that it's supposed to be like 65, 35 right now. If you can't accept that fact and if you get pissed off at this, you'll get so emotionally and psychologically hurt that this will actually become smaller and suddenly it's 40, 45, 50. And then you're like, you're just unfortunate and you're just going through like a, like a massive rut and you've reset months of your progress and everything. But if you can think to yourself right now, yeah, I deserve to be on like 65, 35. And my goal six months from now, let's say by the end of the year for December, is that 75% of the days in December, which is like, I don't know, like 20 something days are good where I've, I've really done well. And like 10% of the 10 days of Jeffrey. Now, when you really think about that, think about that as a goal for December of this year, you want to build up to the point where you only have seven, five bad, bad days, really bad days. Yeah. You could probably do that fairly easily. Taking everything into account, if you're looking long term, high 90s. The reason why I say 100 is because, like, pretty much every single day is like a good productive day for me now. I don't have like bad days really. I know I'm very privileged to say that, but every now and then something will happen. It's like, oh, like a family member gets sick. You're having problem, relationship problems. And then on those days, it's like, oh, that, that day you ended up eating, a, or, you know, around that time, you ended up eating a bit worse junk food and stuff. So it's like my normal days where I'm just following my schedule is just 100% productive. They, they're not bad in any way. I don't eat the junk food because I just eat the same things every day. So it's like normal life, 100% productive. Now it's like those spontaneous weird things that like lower it from 100 to the grand scheme of things to like 96 so what you need to like see is more on like the first you've you set up the normal day-to-day -day life which it seems like you've done now you're just seeing okay how frequent are the times when you go off your your schedule and your plan for you it sounds like it maybe it's once a week or once every two weeks or something eventually it goes like once every two months one day every two months mm. one, like you know obviously it'll, it'll climb up so it'll be, for you it'll be one day every two weeks or you might have a first month where you've done like pretty much no bad habits in it and that feels nice yeah. Uh, maybe it never gets like a total 100% because I personally like to live the kind of life where when I'm in my normal routine, I'm just like, like working. It's not even discipline. It's literally just like, you know, after, once you've done like 90, 10 work and like productive stuff becomes the most fun thing. Like I'm, I'm literally like, like excited to go to the gym after this. I'm like literally happy about it. And that's productive. And like, I'm happy about coming onto these calls because I don't, you know, I, I don't play video games. So my dopamine's all fine and everything. Yeah. But again, it goes, you get to the point where you never purposely do a bad habit. You never accidentally do a bad habit. It gets to the point where you purposely do the bad habit because you know, it's a little bit bad eating that sugar. But you're thinking, oh, whatever, you know, it's like, it's the special occasion. It's someone's, it's my dad's birthday today. So we're going to have some cake. It's like, I'm going to eat it. It's absolutely fine. But would I eat cake on a normal day? No, of course not. So you can't really see yourself like that, like right now, because of course, you know who you are right now. You know where you're up to in life. You can generally only see like a, like a some amount around where you are right now. So if you're currently 65% good, you could probably see yourself maybe 75, 85% good, which is already huge mm -hmm. progress. That's like upward trajectory. Aim for 85%, 90% by the end of this year. And we can really like autistically set the goals. Like what's 90% of 